Doctors are calling it a miracle. A local woman blind for 21 years can suddenly see again. This is an amazing story. Ari Height has exclusive details tonight about her life-changing experience. In the mornings, I get up and I look out here and the sun's coming through the trees and the beams is coming down. Oh, God, it's so wonderful to see. It's easy sometimes to take for granted the beauty that is South Florida, but not for Marianne Franco. To see the sun and the clouds and, and, and the birds and the squirrels run up and down the light poles, you know, and there was a big hawk out there the other day. For Marianne Franco, everything she sees is a gift because until very recently, Marianne Franco couldn't see anything at all. It seems so strange. I don't have to use my cane anymore. 1995, Marianne was in a horrible car accident, multiple injuries, including to her spine. In the days following, her vision faded until all the light in the world went out. It went blackish gray and I couldn't see anything. And for 21 years, Marianne Franco was blind. Fast forward to now, Marianne recently fell in her Okeechobee home. She hurt her neck, had to have surgery. She awoke in the hospital recovery room and without thinking, spoke to a nurse she could actually see. I said, lady, you with all that purple on you, I says, get over here and give me some of her pain. And my niece says, what did you say, Mary? And that is when it hit her. For the first time in more than two decades, Marianne Franco's world wasn't dark. Out the window here, I could see the trees, I could see the, the, uh, the houses and stuff. Her niece couldn't wait to tell the rest of the family. She called me and said, Mary, can see? I said, no. After 21 years, I said, wow. Can I see you, huh? Can I see my baby? Marianne now knows what her dog looks like. I jump all over the place. I had the best time in the world with my mommy. Her cat. I'm the happiest woman in the whole wide world. Chores aren't nearly as challenging as they used to be. Oh, oh good to see you. Oh, it's a wonderful Good to see you. you. My miracle. Oh. Dr. John Afshar is the neurosurgeon who operated on Marianne. Even he has a hard time explaining this. It really is truly a miracle. I've never seen it, never heard of it. But he has a theory. Dr. Afshar believes Marianne's injury 21 years ago may have kinked the artery in her spine, restricting blood flow to the part of her brain that controls vision. When he fixed her spine, he believes he may have unwittingly unkinked that artery. And then when we give that extra amount of blood flow by unkinking the vessel, it could have reestablished the blood flow, but this is all theoretical. Six, two, nine, two, five. A mystery to the doctor, but not to Marianne. She calls this an act of God. That's not bad, 2050. I believe he just went ahead and gave it to me. He gave me back my sight. I really believe this with all my heart. And get this, Marianne has been colorblind her whole life. Not anymore. You're wearing blue and brown, and yeah. your tie is kind of brownish. Yeah, you're so handsome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Marianne has a daughter, a son who recently passed away, seven grandchildren, two great-grandchildren. She's held them, she's kissed them, but she's never seen them until now. That's Michelle. This is my daughter? Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, isn't she beautiful? I had her daughter send me photos of the family, which I then shared with Marianne. That's Jesse. <gasps> oh, my granddaughter. It's Larry. <gasps> oh, my son. Oh, God, I miss him so much. Marianne can't wait to see her family in person. She can't wait to get her driver's license, can't wait to get a job. But more than anything, she can't wait to see what her future will bring. And like we said there, Marianne says she cannot wait to see her family. Well, she shouldn't have to wait very long. A couple of days ago, her daughter flew in from Michigan and surprised Marianne at her home. Take a look. Okay, here she comes. <laughs> Beautiful face and those gorgeous eyes. <laughs>
I just love this story. Like we said before, Marianne has seven grandchildren, two great grandchildren, and she expects to see all of them by the end of the summer. Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.